There should be three distinct layers in the shop. Oh, Respiration is chapter 4 of Unit 4 Biology. Respiration is essentially the process by which complex organic molecules are broken down to release energy. And just to recap, jam does not respire as much as null Edmonds. Aerobic respiration occurs in four stages, the first of which is glycolysis, where the 6 carbon molecule glucose is broken down into the 3 carbon molecule pyruvate. The link reaction, stage number 2, is the conversion of a 3 carbon pyruvate into the 2 carbon molecule called acetyl coenzyme A. The third stage is the Krebs cycle, which is a cycle of oxidation reduction reactions to which acetyl coenzyme A is then reduced into to yield some ATP and a large number of electrons. The fourth stage is the electron transport chain where the electrons produced in the Krebs cycle are used to synthesize ATP and produce water, which is a byproduct. In this video, we will probably get through glycolysis and the link reaction. The first stage of glycolysis is the activation of glucose by phosphorylation. The molecules needed to phosphorylate this glucose molecule come from the hydrolysis of two ATP molecules to ADP. These inorganic phosphates react further with the glucose to produce a phosphorylated glucose molecule. Though the syllabus says that this molecule is called phosphorylated glucose, you might be interested to know that this molecule is actually called fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Stage 2 is the splitting of the phosphorylated glucose, in which simply the glucose molecule, phosphorylated glucose molecule rather, splits into two 3-carbon molecules known as triose phosphate. From this point onwards, I'm only going to follow the fate of one triose phosphate molecule, but it's important to note that they, this happens twice. The third stage of glycolysis is the oxidation of triose phosphate, in which hydrogen is removed from each of the triose phosphate molecules by the electron carrier NAD. The NAD accepts a hydrogen ion from the triose phosphate molecule to produce NADH, or reduced NAD. The fourth stage of glycolysis is the production of ATP, in which the triose phosphate is converted into another 3 carbon molecule called pyruvate. In this process, two molecules of ATP are regenerated from ADP. The inorganic phosphate comes from the triose phosphate molecule. In terms of ATP production, two ATP are used up in the first stage of glycolysis, and four are produced in the production of ATP. This means that the net production of ATP is 2 ATP produced. This is the link reaction which follows glycolysis. In this reaction, pyruvate is oxidized by NAD, which in turn reduces to form NADH, or reduced NAD. The pyruvate molecule is then decarboxylated to form an acetyl group, a two-carbon molecule, which combines with a molecule called coenzyme A, here, to form acetyl CoA. So the products of the link reaction are acetyl coenzyme A, reduced NAD, and carbon dioxide. This happens once per pyruvate molecule.